I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing anymore. Hope my life or in general. I just know that ever since the day I first covered this game, I've been asked about, I want to say, a billion times why I don't like this game and how this is a classic and it's a masterpiece and all this fun shit. I, I, I don't know. I'm very tired and I'm exhausted. So let's do this the classic way here. <laughs> You knew full well what was coming. If you clicked on this video and you saw an NES thing in the profile picture, thumbnail, whatever you call it, you knew damn well what was coming. Now a lot of people said that I blew over this and I was too angry in the original thing, but let's let's read the dialogue. Let's let's go over this piece for piece. Mickey. Hey Goofy, it's time for the big parade. Where's the golden key to the gate? Oh Gorch, I'm sorry, Mickey. I must have left it in the castle. I'm not doing Donald. I am not fucking doing Donald. Like, I can't. I can't. My voice can't even hit that pitch. I sound more like a, re a fucking reject gremlin. And Donald's like, don't worry, Mickey. Let's go to the castle right now. And Goofy's like, uh, wait a minute, Donald. We need six silver keys to open the castle gate. And, uh... Well, I'm not sure where I left them, but they're somewhere in the match. Like, what was he out? Stumbling around drunk for the fucking night? That he lost six, six frigging keys that open a singular lock that are that important. He just, he just mystically lost them in the quote-unquote magic kingdom. So Donald calls him out on his bullshit, and he's like, what? You mean we gotta find all six keys? There's not enough time. Time for what? And now a lot of people pull me apart about the comment about how Mickey stares at you like a pedophilic rapist would. And yeah, that's a little raw, I'll even I'll admit now by today's standards. But like, he stares at you, it's like the stare of death, and that little glitchiness above his head just adds to it. There's just a creepiness here, I can't put my finger on it. But he's like, maybe you could find the six keys for us. Five are in attractions, but you'll have to ask around for the sixth one. I'm sure you could do it, but please hurry. The parade can't go on without them. Yeah, the parade. So another place I've been pulled apart on is... Well, for starters, that I always get start and select mixed up. But that you have this whole... <laughs> That's still amusing. So one of the things I never pointed out originally was the fact that as you collect stars, you can use them to actually power up different stuff. These options right here, per se. And the other thing is... Uh, a lot of people didn't understand my big nitpicking with the character when you're playing as, but yeah, it's never really clear. Like, who the hell are you? Anyway, we gotta go around to these idiots and talk to them one by one. Answering Disney trivia. What year did the Mickey Mouse newspaper comic strip begin? Like, it... I understand that there are people who are fans and then there are super fans, but some of these questions just to pop up in the NES game are fucking ridiculous. And I honestly have no fucking idea. I should have known, it was probably 1938. But it's fun, you can just literally just go back again and ding. Yeah, yeah, I'm an asshole, let's do this. What was the first Mickey Mouse cartoon ever made that was... Was this Steamboat Willie? Wow, it was not Steamboat Willie. I'm, lear I'm learning a lot from this fucking NES game, aren't I? Ah, uh, you're Mickey's friend, the asshole. Who was the most clever and responsible of the Seven Dwarfs? That would be Doc. Yeah, you must be an asshole. <laughs> you must be an asshole, all right. I think the girl on Space Mountain knows where the key is. So, a lot of the flack I got was that I tear this game apart. But the reality of the situation is I grew up with this game. I actually had a hard copy of it. I had it with a misprint, no less. And, uh, well, I'll tell you in a second. I'll tell you what I know if you answer this question correctly. What actress won the Best Actress Oscar for her role in a Disney film? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Um, you know, I almost want to say it's Angela Lansbury, but I know that's wrong. I think it's Julie Andrews. Yes, okay. Angela Lansbury, wasn't that murder she wrote? Am I really that old? Holy shit. You know, I'm going to be 38 in another month. It's kind of scary looking back on this. So for anybody wondering how the hell I'm playing this or why the hell I'm playing this, I literally got the NES Mini working and someone explained to me how to load in 8 million games into this thing. You know, stuff that I've actually played in my past. So I was like, okay, fine. And if there's one ground where everybody kind of just wants me to go over it again, it's this stupid game. 
Oh, your ass? I keep saying Anne. I keep seeing Anne, even though Anne is not there. Or end asshole. <laughs> People say you know everything. Do you know this? What does Mary Poppins pull out of her carpet bag? Uh, an umbrella, no? Wow, I, I apparently know nothing about Disney. This is depressing. Uh, you can just keep going at it. Let's see what it is. How much does it cost to feed the birds of Mary Poppins? What's this guy's obsession with fucking Mary Poppins? Uh, shit. Shilling? Wow, you must not be the asshole I've been hearing about. <laughs> I should have really used something else. I swear to God, if you asked me about Mary Poppins again, I was just like gonna smack you with my big ass hat. What was Donald Duck's first appearance with Mickey Mouse? Uh, I. I literally guessed! I saw the silver key in front of It's a Small World, so. This is your easiest bet to do this first. Uh, Small World is. I guess that would be a small world. I know what this silver key is, but Mickey will be angry if he falls into the wrong hands. If you were his friend, then answer this. Riddle me this, asshole. <laughs> when is Mickey Mouse's birthday? How the fuck would I know? Fucking November 18th. Boom. You've got to be kidding me. I get. I, I do better when I guess than when I try. This is depressing. I apologize for doubting you. There's a dog with a silver key on his collar. I think he's at the front gate. But if he was at the front gate, I came from the damn front gate. And man, that glitching on the bottom. You know, it's funny. This thing, I don't know if it's running on an emulator or it's running a sword. What it, what it runs on, but it's it's identical to the NES experience so far. You're looking for the dog? I know where he is, but who are you? I'm asshole. Who are you? Her. <laughs> a friend of Mickey's. If so, you'd know this. What is the name of Disneyland's riverboat? Um, shit. I think it's the Mark Twain. Yes, okay. I still remember some stuff. I saw the dog heading with Tom Sawyer's Island. I mean, they don't even tell you where the fuck it is. It's like, just go wander aimlessly. You know, you know this park right at the back of your hand, don't you? Oh, that's right, it's an NES game. None of it looks realistic! Twat with the dog. Oh yes, that dog's around here if you can answer this question. I see the dog from there. I'll let you see him. Ooh. What is the name of the evil fairy in Sleeping Beauty? Are you fucking kidding me? Whoops, you scared him. Looks like he's heading for Aut Autopia. I don't know why I paused on that. Okay, I guess you kind of can figure it out because there's a boat there, but you know, like, like this is the haunted mansion over here, and this is uh, Choo Choo Express Gone Wild. I have no fucking idea. All right, let's do this. Get this over with. I have the key that the dog was wearing. I'll give it to you if you answer this question. So, asshole, dare you answer said question? What is the name of Pinocchio's constant companion? Wow, have these questions just got progressively easy? Did I realize I'm a fucking moron that knows nothing and they just dumbed it down? I better ask just one more question. I keep adding- I, I love how I'm adding dialogue into, like, I'm adding, like, words and syllables and shit in just to- just to space it out a bit more. Okay. Which character in the Winnie the Pooh stories was originally named Edward? Oh, you gotta fuck me. Was it Christopher Robin? No, no, hang on. Um, I think it was Christopher Robin. I think he was originally named Edward. Oh, god damn it. Now I gotta do this shit again. I have a key the dog was wearing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. Just ask your stupid ass questions. Which one, of, which of these non-Disney characters is not in the film Who Framed Roger Rabbit? I know he's in it. Definitely. Popeye. You know, it's funny, I just watched it like a week ago. That movie still stand. that movie actually has gotten better with age. It, it ages like a fine wine, it just gets better and better the more I watch it. What is Donald Duck's middle name? You've got to be kidding me. You know, I almost want to say it's Murgatroyd, just because it's hard as shit to spell and pronounce. 
Oh, God. We're gonna be here all day. We're gonna be here all fucking day. Yeah, I know you have the key. I've talked to you two times now. King of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. Uh, Little King. Now, why do I know that? Because my ex-wife was obsessed with Alice in Wonderland. What is the name of Zora's Black Stallion? Uh, well, I know it's not genius, I can tell you that much. I want to say it's Tornado. Oh, thank God. Yes, the silver key. Congratulations. Key get! Good, we have one key of, uh, of fucking five more to collect. Anyway. Onwards and upwards. Autotopia waits for car racing. We have to slow down at the last second. Onwards and upwards we go. Let's take care of this friggin' quote-unquote race. Hey, you asshole. <laughs> Panhand... I really am an asshole for playing this. Panhandle Pete stole the silver key and won't give it back. Please challenge you to a race. If you beat him, you win the key. So now if I remember, it's forward and A, I think? Yes. Or is it just A? Oh, it's just A. Never mind. Wow, I've been wrong about that this whole fucking time. That's sad. So really, this is one of the easiest ones you do in the game. The problem is, there's a section where if you don't know to break... You're fucked. You can literally drive like shit in this whole fucking thing. You can literally crash into every wall, cone... No, you do have to hit up and A. I was wrong. I, I was right, rather. My childhood did not lie to me. All you gotta do is make these basic platforms, but there's a bit coming up... Oh, god damn it. Unless you drive off the side of the road like an asshole. I'm sorry, you have to try again, asshole. Let's do that again. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, he won't give it back. He wants to win the race. Why he's challenging me to a race in, in, in this is beyond my wildest imagination. So let, let, let's talk about this game for a second. So for starters, you gotta remember something. Back in the day, when you got NES games, a lot of times you didn't get boxes with them, you didn't get manuals, because you got them secondhand, or you got them used, or just... You got them somehow, let's just say. This game, I decided to focus on because for one, it's been like notorious from my youth because of the misspelling of my title, but more to the point, the fact that it's just not that fun to play. It's this obscenely difficult, but also incredibly simple fucking game at points. Painfully so at points, I might add. It seems like it could be an amazing game. I mean, look who developed it, for Christ's sake. But at the same time, you have shit like this. You have to break here. If you don't break here, you're fucked. I'm not getting around. You will not survive. I know I po I know I must have mentioned that in my old review. Now you hear the fucking thing going off. Uh, just, let's collect stars and just drive to the finish line. Yay, we won. Rats, you beat me. Well, a deal's a deal. Take the key. But yeah, like I was saying. So, in terms of the gameplay, it's just... It feels kind of choppy. It feels kind of laggy at points. It's it's all over the fucking place. And there's no better example than what we're going to go into next. Which has just driven me nuts for ages. And I'm not going to lie. I don't think I've ever actually beaten this game. So that's what I'm going to be attempting with this whole thing, is to beat this friggin' game. So now we're going to go into, uh... I, 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 for years since I've done the video, people have always commented on that bubble line. I, I don't want to rehash the past, but yeah. So. Asshole, pirates have ransacked the island and are holding six villagers captive. That's important. Please light up rescue please rescue them and light a signal fire excuse me so that we know we will know they are safe jesus h christ i am so tired now there's i do want to say a few things about this game i want to say some positive stuff one visually this game is actually pretty cool but see how it's like kind of lagging when i move around and stuff it's just ridiculous and that never improves it always has this judder 
As for your character himself, I don't know, he's just some dude in a big ass hat. It's it's never maybe it's explained in the manual. I have no idea. I've never decided to look it up. Now if I remember right, if you go down this ladder here, there's a God damn it. Okay, that's one villager down. And if you walk to the side there, you'll totally eliminate that barrel. Remember that. It's important if you're gonna play this fucking game. Also the fact that it rolls down the fucking stairwells! Other people have asked me, well, what the hell is going on here? It's Pirates of the Caribbean themed. You know, before Johnny Depp and company. The fucking defined Pirates of the Caribbean. And yeah, this looks really... This actually looks really cool. That's, that's, the, that's the biggest issue I have with the fucking game. Is that it looks really good. But at the same time, it's notoriously difficult at points like this. We have to time these friggin' jumps just right to make them. And you have to try to save all these jackass villagers because if you don't get them all it, you can't finish this properly as far as i remember it, it, it either doesn't end or it makes it says well you missed one of the villagers or some crap i can't remember exactly what it was it also sucks that you have absolutely no fucking firepower whatsoever like you've got nothing to defend yourself with and it's about to get real fucking difficult because i believe skeletons are gonna start popping out shit do i have to go over here I think I do. Okay, so with these guys, best just to stand in the middle and wait. Jump over this asshole, time it just right, get over that, and then go up. Oh god, it's a Bobo and his big fucking dick. Fuck up! Ah, oh, come on! See, that's what I'm talking about. It's. How do I define this? Okay, with NES games, there was always patterns to everything. There was a pattern you could pick up on. There's a pattern you understood. With this game, the pattern, the patterns, excuse me, more than one, not singular, plural, is is all over the fucking place. Like, the characters pause, they do weird shit, the game slows down as you're seeing, again. Ah, for crying out fucking loud. Twice now I've done that. Twice now I've done that and it is entirely my fault and nobody else's. I can't blame the game for my own stupidity. I can't blame the game for bullshit like this, though. When you're constantly bombarded by shit like that throughout the entirety of this game, where it's just like, you think you've got a handle on like what the game's gonna do, and then BAM! Here comes a new fucking surprise, asshole! Welcome to fucking die! <laughs> oh! Shit, 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 shit! Double shit! What a shitload of fuck! <laughs> oh, and just to be clear, a lot of people... Are you fucking serious? You saw me stand there for what? Fucking two minutes earlier? Nothing happened, right? Now all of a sudden, magically, I took a fucking hit. How many goddamn villagers do I have? Shit. Do I have enough stars to do anything? Uh... There we go. Now you got to see me use the damn inventory screen. Hopefully naysayers are happy now. I swear to God, I've never seen so many more, so many fucking complaints about... Uh, God fucking damn. It's funny too, I've watched the playthrough. Okay, I hate this fucking guy. I hate him so much. That's why I made fun of him so hardcore in the fucking original review. This motherfucker ruins this game for me. Though I will give them credit, at least you can friggin' jump up and jump down. I can't remember- no, you can't. Damn it, how the fuck do you get over there? I won't lie to you, I don't fucking remember- oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Is he gonna come back again? God fucking damn it! Ugh. That's why I never beat this game! No, no, it's it, 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 it's not game over. Don't make me have to do trivia again, Mickey. Okay, let's um, <laughs> let's let's deviate for a little bit. Let's try our luck with the haunted mansion. 
There are 999 ghosts in this house that are always looking for number 1,000. Be careful, they might want you. This is probably, I would think, the coolest fucking part of this entire game. And I'm sorry, people don't like me swearing a lot. That's just my personality. It's, it's nothing personal. So, one thing people have pointed out to me numerous times with this is why do you constantly have to kill every enemy you see? And then you can just jump over them like that. I don't know, I just do. I've also gotten an assload of flack for a later segment in this game with platforms where people are like, Well, you could have dodged that, you fucking idiot. You're just being stupid for reviews. Yeah, kind of. You've got to overemphasize when you do reviews. You know, when you do when you did that angry review nonsense, you had to you had to kind of like overemphasize like certain things. Like, oh my god, this thing sucks so much ass. Look at me try to jump; it failed miserably. I can't make this jump. Oh my god, what kind of fucking idiot made this game? You had you had to kind of do that kind of thing. It gets old after a while. Though. Even I can admit to that. I don't even want to watch my old stuff anymore. Watching my watching me play this game in my old video was honestly one of the more painful things because I realized, for one, I'm not playing very well. I'm playing like absolute dog shit at points, which made no sense to me because I've played this game to death as a kid. And I understand, you know, there's there there's levels of humor and stuff, but at the same time, there there's limits to this shit after a while. Now, the one one of the funniest things is when I get hit by the fucking chair. Like, when I get damaged by the chair when it comes down. I believe it, if it's not in the review, then I left it out by mistake. Or maybe I edited it out. I don't know. But yeah, this is probably one of the coolest friggin' levels this whole game. No, so you can jump. I knew it. You can fucking jump down. Why couldn't I jump down and buy a Pete's fucking house of anal rape? Okay, this part I fucking hate with a passion. And I hate this part mainly because you can actually take damage from the fucking chairs. Or you can entirely miss the jump. Oh my god. What the fuck is wrong with me? You know what? Let's go back to, uh... <laughs> Let's go back to Buffalo Bill's House of Pain here. <laughs> oh god, what am I doing? Okay, so for those wondering what the hell is going on here, here's the deal. I was told that while my old videos were funny, it would be way funnier watching me try to attempt to beat all these fucking games. Especially the ones that drove me absolutely insane to the point of no return. People want to know if I really rage like a lunatic or not, long story short. And some of my high, highest, like, raid followers and people who just absolutely love my stupid ass work... I suck at this game, wow. But anyway, people who really like my work have been so curious about this one more than most games on the face of the planet that I've viewed. Even, like, I've gotten questions about Escape from Bug Island, and I've gotten questions about fucking Vampire Rain, and was I being serious and stuff like that. But when it comes to these older reviews I did, these NES reviews, I swear to God, people are, like, obsessed with them. To this day, I still get messages about this stuff, and it blows my mind. So, I figure it's 2020, we're gonna be 2021 pretty soon. COVID-19's in full swing, nobody can go anywhere or do anything, for the most part. And people really need a good laugh, and I figure there's no better laugh than watching an imbecile try to beat his childhood nightmare. Can I climb up while I- No, I cannot. No, I cannot. No, I fucking cannot. Oh, my God, this fucking game. All right, maybe I should try a different event. A different level. I don't know what the hell it is about this game. It just, it infuriates me to no end. Probably because I can see the potential for this to be something really, like, memorable and awesome. Okay, I've already done that one, so... No, we can't go that way. What the hell is this one? Oh my god, I remember now. This is the fucking choo-choo train of death. Howdy, partner! You're gonna have to ride a minecart to get through here. Go to third station and watch out for them dead ends, are you, huh? 
This is incredibly difficult. It's only until you've played this that you know how fucking difficult this part really is. Especially when you get to the end and you realize if you've gone the wrong fucking way, you're screwed. You have to constantly be hitting the brake. You have to constantly, and I mean constantly, be hitting brake. And this is one of those ones where you cannot pause. Under any circuit, you can't, you just can't, flat out, cannot pause the game when you're playing this fucking level. Ugh, damn it! Point improve. Wow! Two game overs in less than 15 minutes. We're doing great here, man. We're doing fucking wonderful. Um... How about one more time with the... Uh, you know what? One more time with... No, actually, fuck that. You know what? Let's 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 spread it out a little. I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm sniffling a lot. I do actually think I have a cold. I'm not sure. Hopefully, I don't have you know the other thing, but I doubt it. But yeah, there's a silver key on Star F. If you pilot and I navigate, oh, I never saw that before. If you pilot and I navigate, I'm sure we can make it. When I tell you where to fly. Push the controls in that direction, okay? And push the A or B button to fly around meteors. Ready? Lift off. Maybe I'm retarded. What the fuck just happened? Okay, down. Right. Oh. I hit the fucking A button! Oh, A button's not the button, it's just the fucking planet A! God fucking... This game is so unforgiving. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm getting it now. Actually, I'm, this is making more sense to me now at 37 than it did when I first... when I played this like a couple of years back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Instructions! God damn it, Mickey! You're supposed to be navigating me through the stars, not to crash my goddamn spaceship! <sighs> but yeah, for those wondering, that's about as mad as I ever get at video games. So if you've ever watched anybody else play video games, like live stream them, or do anything like, um, example off the top of my head, Mike Bate. Like, occasionally you'll see him rage, you'll see him legitimately get mad, but he has reasons to get mad. It's like he's done something several times, getting pissed off. Nobody should be screaming at the top of their lungs, breaking anything, or doing anything really stupid when it comes to playing video games. You should just be having a good time. Even if you're getting angry, you're still having a good time, because guess what? You're still going back for more! I mean, this is assholes, what, fifth attempt at this? I can't even remember at this point. So we know this pirate guy's coming out here, so we dodge him, and then we go up, and then we do this, and then we jump. I also hate videos like that. I hate, I, I cannot, you know what, fuck this shit, I'm not doing that anymore. Oh, that's why I don't fucking do that. Okay, I couldn't remember what the hell the reason was that I always go up the friggin' ladder. Now I remember, because this shithead respawns every fucking time. But you know what, he doesn't respawn if you do that. You can also jump up the side of the thing. I, well, I've shown that with, oh shit! Fuck! No! You know what? Never mind what I said. I obviously have no fucking idea what I'm talking about. I'm just trying to sound smart. But my sombrero wearing asshole fucking companion over here doesn't want to move his ass! Look at this. I'm already fucking down to one life. And I got stuck on the friggin' ladder. I may not be able to do this. I wanted to do this. I really would like to see the end of this game before I die. But apparently I suck too much ball sack to do it. Now, isn't there a thing like where you can... I just want to test something. Hang on. Get the fuck out of my way, Zumbambo! I could swear to God if you touch that zombie or like fucked from square one. It's like this really funny in-joke. Hmm. Maybe not. I'm gonna go. I, I just wanna go back. I just wanna fucking see real fast. God damn, man. You have no life in this game. 
You have no friggin' life in this game whatsoever. They they give you three hits. That's all they give you. But if it's if it's respawning nonsense, a la Capcom, it'll come back. Wow, I'm down to fucking one candle. Holy shit. That's not good. That's really not good. I have no weapons now. I have no weapons and no life. What am I doing? Oh, wait. There we go. What's up with that? You know, there's always been shit I've always wondered about. I know it's just meant to be better freaky outside, but, you know. Just for the hell of it. Why not? I'm not gonna survive. I'm not gonna survive this one life. There's no fucking way. Actually, hang on. Yeah, maybe I will. You know, I just noticed something in there. I even pointed it out. When I first started this video, what did I say? I said people got mad at me for not looking at it. So you got life up, you got freeze, one up, and invincible. I can't do them now because I don't have any friggin' star points, but it's all right there. I don't wonder people got pissed off at me about this game. I don't like that you could jump down in this, but you can't do it in the pirate. I don't understand why the hell in that one it's not an option. It doesn't make... God damn it. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Really? I don't think I've ever landed on that chair, except for in that one friggin' position you see me landing on. Oh, wow, my nose is really running. I must have the virus. What do they call it? The virus? I, I know there's like some dumb phrase people were using to, 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 to do with COVID fucking... They were calling it the virus or some shit like that. It was some social media bullshit. What is, what is, what, what is that beeping? Oh shit, I totally forgot there's also a fucking time limit. Yeah, game over. Wow, I suck. I, I, I swear to God, with this game, I can't. I can't with this game. I can play other Disney fucking games made by Capcom. They're not so bad, but especially like Ducktales. Holy shit, that game rocks. And even if I suck at it, I keep playing it nonstop. But this game, this game just infuriates the living hell out of me because it feels like it'd be such a great game, but it doesn't do anything to earn that right. It just annoys the living fuck out of you at all turns. So if anybody ever wonder why, in certain cases, uh, R Mike 21 would yell and scream at certain games, it was, it was like, it was like take take how I feel about the game and then add 50 layers of rage on top of it and overacting and overarching amount of swearing and you basically have your answer right there. Is it possible to beat this game? I'm sure it is. Can I beat this game? Apparently not. Then again, I'm sure the ending's just like, You started the parade! Hooray! The end! Now go fuck yourself, asshole! <laughs> anyway, more to come, people. Stay tuned, and thanks for watching. Have yourselves a safe and happy holiday.